sir. We've got a surrender, Skipper. Blow the tanks. Take us up. Our panic from you, Hill. Get out of here. Get back to your station. Brady, stop your engines. Spill all the oil you can. I hear this. All hands, stay at your stations. No walking and no noise. The USS Tetra is doomed. If we hadn't stuck a fish you out of the ocean, we wouldn't be in this fix. You should have left me to drown. You're not long on gratitude, Lieutenant Nakamura. Richard Basehart, David Hedison, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. of the islands. Today, November the 16th, 1973, one of the most unusual stories of World War II may come to light here in Honolulu, more than a quarter of a century after B.J. Day. Admiral Harriman Nelson and his fabulous research submarine Sea View are at the sub-base in Pearl Harbor at this moment, examining what seems to be an authentic message from the USS Tetra. The Tetra was a World War II submarine based at Pearl Harbor, which was presumed lost on patrol somewhere in the South Pacific at the close of the war. Information from reliable naval sources seems to indicate that some of the original crew, years ago officially declared killed in action, may in fact still be alive. Now, if this turns out to be true, if the message proves indeed to be from the Tetra, we may be on the verge of discovering the details of the most incredible tale of survival in the long annals of the sea. A tale that began with the discovery of a small bottle floating in the water. This seems incredible, sir. Oh, it's authentic, Chip. The Navy lab has given it every test. Could the Navy clue us into the source? They've combed the whole area with subsurface ships, planes, and come up with nothing. So, they want our help. Chief Sharkey. Yes, sir. Recall all liberty parties. Have the crew ready for departure at uh, 0600. Aye, aye, sir. Well, I understand the urgency, sir, but can we be ready by then? Why not, ship? You know, Captain Crane, always prepared. Seriously. Not the ocean, you. I'm starting to realize I shouldn't be up here with you without a chaperone. Mm, it's a little old-fashioned, isn't it? I'm an old-fashioned girl. You realize, of course, that a chaperone wouldn't allow me to kiss you again. Like this.
Yes, Chief, what is it? Uh, orders from Admiral Nelson Skipper. You're to report to Dockside immediately. We shove off at uh, 0600. Okay. Thanks, Chief. You're welcome. At least my chaperone was imaginary. <laughs> This bottle was picked up in a fisherman's net off the coast of Hawaii. He had the good sense to turn it over to the naval authorities at Honolulu. Now, the Navy has supplied me with a photostatic copy of the paper that was inside the bottle. Naval scientists have analyzed both the paper and the handwriting on the note, and it's absolutely authentic. It's written on the official stationery of a submarine, the USS Tetra. Tetra? I don't recall any sub by that name. Well, it's not surprising that Tetra was lost and presumed missing in action in, uh, on uh, July 20th, 1945. Now, there was one survivor, a sonar man named Hill, who's long since dead. Now, he blamed the loss of the Tetra on its commander, Lieutenant Ryan. He claimed that he could have saved the sub, but lost his head, blundered, and doomed the vessel. That was 28 years ago. But this note, signed by Lieutenant Ryan, is dated... 140 days ago. Sorry, sir. This is our new man, Frank Worden, STS specialist. He just reported for duty, and I brought him to you as order. Welcome aboard, Worden. Thanks. I understand you're thoroughly trained in the use of our new subterrestrial scanner. Yes, sir. Well, we're going to need it on this mission. I want you to uncrate it and have it aligned as soon as possible. Aye, aye, sir. But to continue, <clears throat> this note gives the latitude and the longitude, and then it goes on to say, uh, please help us, cannot hold out much longer. Trapped in underwater cave, only five of us are left. Myself, Lieutenant Tony Wilson, Lieutenant Isaka Nakamura, Yeoman Burger Johnson, Torpedo Man Cliff Bates. Signed, James Ryan, Lieutenant USNR Commanding. Hey! Come on, Mac. We haven't got all day. Shake a leg. So that's it, gentlemen. We have to find an underwater cave where five poor devils have been trapped for 28 years. to tremble from a last illness. Prudence suggests the wisdom of resting for a few more days. I'm strong. I'll dig for you. Oh, you've all taken my place for the past week. It's about time I get back to work. Besides, I want to see how much deeper the tunnel is. Oh, at least another four feet. It's almost as deep as the one we dug eight years ago, the one that collapsed and buried Sims in York. We're having better luck with this one. At least we haven't run into any of that rotten shale. Yeah, real good luck. Why, we'll be through the side of the mountain in at least ten years. We've got to keep trying, don't we? like all that current's doing the Watusi. Hey, how about putting you down for our AC Ducey tournament tonight? It'll be a real ball. No, thanks. I guess you don't dig cards, huh? Now, 
I know. Take a look at the seismograph report. Pressure. A lot of pressure, like a volcano on the verge of erupting. It's coming from that island we're heading for. Thank you, sir. The flying sub is ready, Admiral. I personally checked all systems. Thank you, Chief. I'll be using uh, channel 1.2 on the monitor. Yes, sir. I wouldn't. Are you satisfied with the scanner? I had some trouble with the refraction circuitry, sir, but I straightened it out. All right. Have you checked out on the emergency procedures for the flying sub? Stated the manual, sir. Good. All right. Let's go. <laughs> We never should have let Johnson work. It's agony for him. But the rewarding agony, friend Ryan, it may perhaps be the best medicine. The beast beneath us still shows his ugly temper. That's the third shake today. This morning we've had all week. Johnson! Bates! Come out of there! It is to be hoped that the earth dragon stirs, but the rest of the in slumber. Perhaps it will return to deeper sleep. And maybe they won't. Maybe it'll blow sky high and take all of us with it, if we're lucky. Oh. Do not despair, my friend. Fate has not preserved us all these years for nothing more than the fiery death in the bowels of a volcano. You still believe, don't you, Lieutenant Nakamura? My people will come. I know it. Admiral. Transmission is scale 10 quality. Good. I'll switch you to the nose site. They'll be at the island in 20 minutes. Call me then. Anything since that big shake a few minutes ago? No, sir. It's been pretty quiet. Well, volcanoes can be like that. They stir up a little excitement, then they settle back for another hundred years. Let's hope this one does. Volcanic island, dead ahead. See what you can pick up on the scanner, Warden. 
puedo. You're allowed to hold a smoother, sir. Give me a 30 degree bank. Down in the crater, Lee. There's bound to be a cave under there. Bates dead. Listen. I hear something. What? It's a weird sound. It's sort of like an airplane. He's right. I hear it too. Someone's found us. My countrymen have come for us at last. Are you sure you heard something? I'm sure I did. It was a funny sound, sort of a whine. Well, I remember when Smith heard those voices years ago. What was that, ten years? He tried to climb the walls. Smith was out of his mind, and you know it. That was a sound. We all heard it. The gods of chance work in strange ways. Perhaps one of the bottles you placed in the underwater tunnel made its way to the sea and was retrieved? That's got to be it. All right, Wilson. I just don't want to get our hopes too high. You speak with the voice of logical prudence, Lieutenant Ryan. But the sweet whisper of optimism wells in my heart. It tells me to properly prepare myself for the so long awaited arrival of my countrymen. So. He just can't get over the fact that Japan might have lost the war, can he? If it wasn't for that belief, Nakamura would have died years ago. His faith has been his sustenance. Yeah, that's a lot of poppycock, Skipper. He wants to live as much as the rest of us. Win, lose, or draw. He'll know what the score is when that plane sends help for us. <laughs> taking readings. Anything showing up? Yes, sir, there is an underwater cave. I can't make out the details. The scanner shows an underwater tunnel leading right into the crater. I'm going to submerge and take a look. Can't you wait till we get there, Admiral? 
The seismograph's been showing some nasty disturbances in that area. Oh, I think it's worth a try. Maybe when we get closer underwater, the scanner will work better. Keep at it. As you can see, treacherous current here. I could use the Sea View's electronic stabilizers. See it? The tunnel! I can't control it. We're caught in the current. We're, we're being swept in. Lee, I can't. Sea View to Admiral Nelson, come in. Admiral, do you read me? Engine room. I want full emergency power. Every RPM you've got. It looks badly. Well, they're probably having trouble with communications. Nothing more than that. Well, sir, that, that sound, we really heard it, didn't we? You bet we did. Loud and clear. We thought we heard it, Johnson. But we thought we heard things before, too. Well, what else have you heard lately, Lieutenant? A woman's voice, a symphony orchestra, or maybe an angel's heart? Shut up, Wilson. I just don't want to build up false hopes again, that's all. This time, Lieutenant, I do not believe they are false. It is as you saw me 20, 80 years ago. I have saved it for such an occasion. Are you crazy, Nakamura? What are you dressed up like that for? It is true, my friend, that the white bird of hope can be as elusive as the butterfly's ghost. If my people have come for us, I'm ready to properly greet them. If not, I shall console myself with the knowledge that a few minutes of delusion can be sweet, like the scent of a remembered rose Uniform, Nakamura. I'd forgotten we were enemies. I hope, my friend, it does not make us enemies again. Of course not, Nakamura. We've been through too much together. Anyway, we both know the war must have ended many years ago. Just as you have surely reconciled to the fact that your country met inevitable defeat. <laughs> Don't start that argument again. But... Uh, if rescue is imminent, you must prepare yourself, Lieutenant Ryan. Let's not torture ourselves, Nakamura. The only fact we have to face is that this cave will shortly be our tomb as it has been for all the others.
You can doubt no longer. My countrymen have come. Your countrymen are mine, Nakimura. There's something wrong. Over just in case. It's still a long way from that island ship. I know. What are your plans? <laughs> I'll know that when we get there. knock on the head. It's nothing serious. He'll come around. I'm Nelson of the submarine sea view. Lieutenant Ryan, sir. Oh. Oh, you're Ryan. Yes, sir. Uh, this is uh, Lieutenant Wilson. Wilson. <clears throat> and that's Burger Johnson, sir. He's in a very bad way. Admiral, I wonder if I you know could... you've got a lot of questions. We can take care of that later. Right now, I've got to check the flying sub, see if there's a way of repairing it and getting us all out of here. Admiral. That thing's a sub, and it flies? Uh, the Admiral's right, Wilson. No questions now, except one, sir. When did the war end? About a month after your submarine was sunk. Japan surrendered unconditionally. One lousy month. It cost us 28 years. Weren't there uh, two other men here? Uh, yes, uh, Bates is dead, sir. Well, what about that Japanese lieutenant? Nakamura, he's off by himself somewhere. Now, Admiral, if you'll just tell us what you want us to do. Nobody wants to get away from anywhere faster than we want to get out of this cave. Well, first, I have to check the hull. There's a leak that has to be stopped before we can do anything. There's still a, a supply of uh, a sealing compound aboard the old Tetra, sir. Well, let's get it. to back her off. Can't you give me a few more minutes? We're almost there. Affirmative, Skipper. I'll tie it down. I don't know what to make of it, Skipper. Since that last big shake, there hasn't been a thing. Not a thing. But maybe that's encouraging. Oh, maybe. Maybe it could also mean the island isn't there anymore. Speed of stern. Aye, aye, sir. Activate collision screen. Activate collision screen. Aye, aye. Activate forward monitor. Aye, aye. One-third. 
Feeling better? I guess we found what we were after, Admiral. <laughs> yeah, we managed to get swept in the same current that brought the Tetra in here. Are we trapped? Flying sub -wrecked? Not quite. The motors are okay. We managed to stop up a leak and get her pumped out. Now, as soon as the tide changes and the current flows the other way, we'll be able to leave. The uh, crew of the Tetra, where are they? All aboard the flying sub. I let them have the emergency stores. You know, um, chocolate bars and canned ham can be wonderful things to men who've been living for years on fish and seaweed. Well, one of them was too good. Sir, may I talk to you? Of course. Who's he? He's a yeoman from the Tetra, Berger Johnson. We're going to take you aboard the flying sub, Johnson. But first, I want to give you some medicine. Flying sub, sir? That's right. Right here. Take this. Admiral. I can't find Nakamura any place, sir. This is a big cave. It's full of crevices and potholes. We've got to leave as soon as the tide turns. We can't leave without him. Why, if it hadn't been for him, I doubt if any of us would be alive. Look, with this volcano ready to blow, any delay would be suicidal. It's going to take a lot of chocolate to get the fish out of my mouth, but it sure tastes good. I'm glad you got over that bump over your head. I, uh, I guess you can't know how good it is for us to see you. Here either Wilson or Ryan. Which? Lieutenant Wilson. There's Kipper Ryan, right there. Come on, I'll introduce you. I'll introduce myself. Oh, Lieutenant, this is uh, Frank Worden who came in with me. I'll give you my hand. My way. What's the meaning of this, Worden? Very simple, Admiral. This man's my father. Your... Your father? I'm your father. Doesn't that make you feel proud? My wife was your mother. She's dead. Dead. Did you ever hear of anybody dying of shame? Well, she did. He's insane. That when he start raving mad. Admiral! was our escape, our only way out. Not so. There is another way out. The way of Aisaku Nakamura. You say that my country was defeated. <laughs> you lie. The spirit of my people cannot be conquered. Have I not just proven it? Now, we shall all die together. You in the humiliation of defeat, and I, myself, in honor. Slow ahead. Aye, aye, sir. Steady she goes. We found it. 
That must be the tunnel the flying sub disappeared in. Is it big enough for the sea view? Slow speed ahead. Trap the flying sub. I never felt a current like this before. Even full speed astern doesn't stop us. Up there ahead, the tunnel narrows. We're gonna be jammed in. That seismograph needle, Skipper, it's jumping all over the place. You got a nice sense of timing, Riley. Torpedo room. Prepare to fire one. Zero range. We're too close, Lee. Rig for explosion. All hands stand by. Fire one. I sailed on the Tetra. I didn't know I had a son. We're all gonna die together. I'll see what difference it makes. Makes a difference to me. Why now? It's a little late to discover conscience. I want to know about my wife. Tell me about her. I deserve that much. <laughs> you deserve that much. Tetra was lost about a month before I was born. And the news came that her hero husband was a coward and a murderer. You know what that did to her? Not even moving to another city, changing her name would help. Eventually killed her, Mr. Ryan. You don't have an answer for that one, do you? How is he? Not good. I saw you talking to your boy. I tried to talk to him. He called me a coward and a murderer. I didn't get very far. Well, a man carries a belly full of hate. A few words aren't going to change him. You said your submarine was on the way. If by some miracle, they find us and get us out of here. Then I'll tell the truth. Maybe he can accept it then. What is the truth, Lieutenant? I don't know the whole story, Admiral. I can only guess. A man did escape from the Tetra while we were under attack. He deserted his post and went out through an escape hatch. I suppose he told some kind of a story to prevent himself from being court-martialed. He figured we were dead, his lies were safe. Well, the Navy may reopen the investigation if we get out of here. Can you prove your story? It's not an unsupported story, Admiral. There's Wilson and Johnson. Even a man who was my prisoner at the time, Nakamura. Ask them. I don't think that'll be necessary. Skipper! I found him hiding in the rocks, and he's proud of what he did. Nakamura, why did you do this to us? My country has been crushed, enslaved under the cruel heel of the enemy. But I shall not be enslaved, nor shall I return to be subjected to further indignities. A perverse fate has willed that I have fought the final battle of the war. Or to kill you right now. Or get enough, Wilson. We might have made it out of here. He's our friend.
You would stand by me, old friend, after what I have done. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? So man die, Warden. Are we all gonna die, Admiral? Well, you haven't got a chance, and you know it, not with that volcano ready to blow any second. Also, so an act of forgiveness. I know what you're driving at, Admiral. It's no use. Could you forgive a man who left a brand of coward on his wife and son? You think a coward can command and fight a submarine? You think a coward could survive in this miserable hole for all these years? My madness has killed him. No, no, Nakamura. Johnson couldn't have lasted much longer, even with help. You prove that lies sometimes can be the balm of kindness, but no lie can soften the fact that I have doomed all of you. Oh, well. None of us really expected to get out of here alive anyway. Have Have a look. Permission to come aboard, sir. Permission granted, Lee. Sorry I couldn't get to see you in any closer. She surfaced a couple of hundred yards away around the bed, sir. Good. You can tell me how you did it later. All right. You heard the commander. Your rescue vessel's 200 yards away. Now get aboard. Let's move! Control parties report to stations. Seal off all compartments. Scratch 
one volcano. permission to come forward. I'd, uh, I'd like to speak to my father. All right. There's plenty of room aft. Thanks. Eventually, they'll have a happy reunion. I shall never know such joy. I must return to my nation, knowing that it tastes nothing but the bitter girl of humiliation and defeat. Once uh, I heard a poem written by one of your countrymen, uh, something about um, spring and broken apple blossoms. In spring, the broken apple blossom flutters down, faded and forgotten, to hide its lost beauty in the cold earth. And yet, the pathetic apple blossom has a timeless power. And on another spring, we rise into a new and stronger tree. That's the philosophy of your own people, Lieutenant. But you forget, many springs have come and gone since the end of the war. <laughs> 